Bonjour à tous. I want to start this morning by recognizing that today is a painful anniversary. It has now been two years since the tragic Humboldt Broncos crash. From coast to coast to coast, we remember the 16 lives that ended much too soon and the many more that were changed forever. If you lost a friend, a teammate, or a loved one, if you're still rebuilding and recovering, I want you to know that we're here for you and we will always be here for you. You, the community of Humboldt, along with all Canadians who stand with you, have shown incredible strength and resilience. And just like the people putting out hockey sticks or wearing the jersey, you remind us that together we can get through even the darkest of times. Right now, as we face a challenge unlike any other, we lean on our friends and family. And we let them know that they can lean on us, too. The weeks and months ahead won't be easy, but we're going to get through this together. I'm sure many of you watched the Queen's address yesterday afternoon, and her message of unity and resolve is more important than ever. No one should feel alone in this. No one should wonder how they'll weather this storm without support. Over the past few weeks, we've brought in a whole range of new measures to help families and workers, seniors and business owners get through this. Taken together, we've introduced the biggest economic measures in our lifetime, which will help millions of people. That includes the Canada Emergency Response Benefit for if you've lost your paycheck. Whether you're taking care of someone who's sick, have been laid off, or are living with a disability, the CERB is there for you. This benefit is now available starting today. If you're born in January, February, or March, you can go to Canada.ca and apply online. If you can't apply online, don't worry. You can call 1-800-959-2041. Since it opened this morning, uh, 240,000 people have already successfully applied. For everyone else, you'll be able to apply another day this week, depending on your birth month. We know you need this support as soon as possible. We have to make sure this system works for everyone. If you're using direct deposit, you'll receive money three to five days later. The CERB is meant to help all Canadians who need it, and millions of Canadians will be getting it starting this week. But there are some people who don't yet qualify who we do need to help. If you're working reduced hours, down to 10 hours a week or less, we will soon announce how you will be able to qualify for the CERB. This is to help you if you're a gig worker, a contract worker, or a volunteer firefighter. We'll also have more to say for those who are working, but making less than they would with the benefit. I'm thinking in particular of home care workers or long-term long care, work, long care workers looking after vulnerable seniors. And I know there are also lots of university or college students wondering what kind of job you'll get this summer. You need support now, and work is underway to get it to you as soon as possible. For people in all of these situations. We see you. We're going to be there for you. And we're working as hard as we can to get you the support you need. At the same time, we also announced a new 75% wage subsidy to help you keep your job and help businesses keep their employees on the payroll. Right now, we're drafting legislation and talking to other parties ahead of bringing Parliament back to put the wage subsidy in place as quickly as possible. Supporting you and your family is our top priority. Your Minister of Finance, Bill Morneau, will have more updates soon, but here's the bottom line. Whatever your situation, we are working to get you the help you need. Si vous êtes né en janvier, en février ou en mars, et vous avez dû arrêter de travailler à cause du virus, vous pouvez présenter une demande pour la prestation canadienne d'urgence à partir d'aujourd'hui sur canada.ca. 
Sinon, vous pourrez soumettre votre demande plus tard dans la semaine, selon votre mois de naissance. Vous êtes nombreux à avoir besoin d'aide rapidement et on doit s'assurer que le système fonctionne pour tout le monde. Si vous optez pour le dépôt direct, ça devrait prendre trois à cinq jours pour recevoir un premier paiement. La prestation d'urgence vise à aider tous les Canadiens qui ont besoin d'un coup de pouce, mais je sais que certaines personnes ont encore besoin de, ont besoin de soutien et ne sont pas encore admissibles. Si vos heures de travail ont été réduites, par exemple à 10 heures par semaine ou moins, on va bientôt annoncer comment vous pourrez toucher à la prestation canadienne d'urgence. On aura aussi des nouvelles pour ceux qui gagnent moins d'argent en ce moment que s'ils touchaient la prestation. Je pense par exemple aux professionnels des soins à domicile ou ceux qui s'occupent des personnes âgées. Il y a aussi beaucoup d'étudiants au cégep ou à l'université qui se demandent ce qu'ils vont faire cet été. C'est clair que vous avez aussi besoin d'aide et on travaille fort pour trouver des solutions. En même temps, on travaille sur un projet de loi et on collabore avec les partis d'opposition pour rappeler le Parlement et mettre en place les mesures qu'on a annoncées le plus rapidement possible. Le ministre des Finances, Bill Morneau, donnera plus de détails bientôt, mais voici ce qu'il faut retenir. Peu importe vos circonstances, on fait tout ce qu'on peut pour vous aider. On travaille très fort pour vous donner un peu de répit et vous aider à gérer votre situation financière. Les banques ont un rôle important à jouer parce qu'elles ont le pouvoir d'aider les entreprises à poursuivre leurs activités et les familles à payer leur hypothèque. Aujourd'hui, je tiens à saluer la décision des six grandes banques et de certaines coopératives de réduire de près de la moitié la, les taux d'intérêt des cartes de crédit pour les Canadiens éprouvant des difficultés financières à cause de la pandémie. The decision of the six major banks and of certain credit unions to cut credit card interest rates almost in half for people in financial difficulty because of the pandemic will give them much needed relief on debt. I also want to thank Minister Morneau for his outstanding leadership on this. And we need to see even more action like this going forward because this is a time to think about each other, not about the bottom line. On that note, I want to recognize the new initiative the Canadian Chamber of Commerce launched in partnership with our government. The Canadian Business Resilience Network will help businesses of all sizes get through this tough period, not, not just get through this tough period, but drive our economic, economic recovery afterwards. This builds on what we've already done to help business owners. We have a three-point economic plan. It supports business owners, including through new loans, while safeguarding jobs with the wage subsidy and helping those who no longer have a paycheck with the CERB. We're here for you. In order to get through this and keep our loved ones and our frontline workers safe, all Canadians need to do their part. Don't forget that you are shaping our future today. What the next weeks and months look like depends on you. It depends on whether you stay home, whether you help protect the vulnerable and make sure our hospitals aren't overwhelmed. Chaque citoyen doit faire sa part. Parce que les gens qui doivent continuer d'aller travailler, les infirmières, les médecins, les ambulanciers, les techniciens de laboratoire, les concierges, les camionneurs et les travailleurs agricoles, entre autres, font plus que leur part. Ils font des sacrifices pour permettre au reste de la population de rester chez eux. La meilleure façon de les remercier, c'est de continuer à suivre les directives des experts en santé. C'est comme ça qu'on peut tous protéger notre santé et la leur. Merci d'être des nôtres aujourd'hui.